Untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a red-green treasure deck featuring a ton of new cards from Streets of New Capenna. I'm recording this on a fully stocked account courtesy of Wizards of the Coast as part of the Early Access event. And among the new cards we have the full playset of Gala Greeters, a 2-mana 1-1 Elf Druid with Alliance saying whenever another creature enters the battlefield under our control we can choose one mode that hasn't been chosen between putting a plus one counter on it, creating a tapped treasure token or gaining to life, and Gala Greeters sets up Ginny Fae on turn 3 beautifully, because Ginny Fae is a 3-3 legendary elf druid, saying if we would create one or more tokens, can be any kind of token, we may instead create that many 2-2 green cat creature tokens with haste, or that many 3-1 green dog creatures with vigilance instead. So if we play Gala Greeters into Ginny Fae, we can decide to make a tapped treasure token, which now turns into a tapped cat token or dog token instead, which will once again trigger the Gala Greeters, so we can can also gain life or put a plus one counter on it. Then we also have two copies of Professional Facebreaker, a 2-3 with Menace, saying whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, create a treasure token, and we can also sacrifice a treasure at any time, can even be a tapped treasure, to exile the top card of our library, and we may play that card this turn, including lands as well. And then we're also trying out two copies of Ognis, the Dragon Slash, a 3-3 legendary Vyashina warrior with haste, saying whenever a creature you control with haste attacks, create a tapped treasure token. So great synergy with the hasty cat tokens from Ginny Fey, as well as with our Goldspan Dragon, now making two treasure tokens, which will also sacrifice for double the amount of mana. So a ton of treasure tokens to be created here, with a couple copies of Magda, which has great synergy with our Sentinel, which can tap it to make a treasure and one mana, as well as our Asika's Chariot, making a pair of cat tokens, also great synergy throughout the deck. And then we also have the full playset of Prosperous Innkeeper, which makes a treasure when he enters, and we can also gain one life whenever one of our creatures enters a battlefield, and we're making a ton of tokens in the deck. We've got Vaulted Surge as our removal spell of choice, dealing 2 damage to a creature or planeswalker, and if we sacrifice an artifact, which we can easily accomplish with our treasures, we can deal 4 damage instead. And then a few copies of Fable of the Mirror Breaker, making a Goblin Shaman that makes a treasure when it attacks. Also gives us a bit of card selection to maybe get rid of legendaries we already have in play. And then we already mentioned Chariot, of course Goldspan, still one of the best cards in Standard. And then a one-off copy of Old Gnawbone, a 7-7 legendary dragon with flying, saying whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, create that many treasure tokens. So quite a bit more powerful than the Professional Face Breaker's ability, but great synergy throughout the deck can maybe turn all those treasures into creature tokens with the Ginny Fey, and we can potentially search up Old Gnawbone by sacrificing 5 treasures while we have a Magda in play, which is why we have the one-off here. And then a mana base, nothing too unusual, playing a few copies of Sundown Pass, which still helps us cast a turn 3 Ginny Fey while producing red mana as well. And then a ton of dual lands, a few creature lands with the Den of the Bugbear, also making a goblin token when it attacks, which can potentially turn into a cat or dog instead. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, and we've got a reasonable opening hand. Basically keeping on the strength of Sentinel plus Magda. Gala Greeters can help us make some treasure to ramp into Goldspan. And then hopefully we'll get to see some new cards in action. Well, let's see what we're up against. Red Black might see Obnixilis in action here. Strangle kills Sentinel, unfortunately. Do we still want to play Magda or do we play Greeters first? We'll go with the Greeters. I'm not very confident that Magda is going to get to attack here. For opponents, the Red Black Sacrifice deck, they'll have ample cheap creatures that can block. Alright, it's going to be an Anvil instead. Chariot could be exciting. So we'll play Magda, make a tapped treasure. And then Chariot plus Magda can also generate more treasure in the future. Another Anvil. And do they have a cheap artifact to sacrifice? 
We're just gonna sacrifice the anvil itself to make two 1-1 one -one tokens. Fair enough. Alright, I'm gonna play Chariot. And then we can essentially make two treasure tokens between Magda and Gala Greeters. As well as putting a counter on it. Don't think I'm interested in attacking. So we'll just pass. And then next turn I should be able to play Goldspan. There's Obnixilus. So get to see him in action. So probably going to see a Devil token being created, followed by our opponent draining us for two. Go ahead. Plead for mercy. And then we got to remember to make a treasure token with Magda. Another fable, but I think gold spans the play here. Make another tapped treasure. And then probably no use in attacking with the Seekas chariots, just send Goldspan at one of the Obnixilus. Make another treasure. Because if we attack into the Devil token, then the opponent could take out Magda, which is probably not worth it here. But we could also be a bit more aggressive if we want. Although our hand's quite stacked, so don't see a reason to. And we're gonna take two more damage. Would be a nice spot to pick up Ginny Fay, making a whole bunch of tokens. Deadly Dispute sacking an artifact to draw two. And another Deadly Dispute. They're keeping the Devil token around so they can drain with Obnixilus. And Strangle takes out Gala Greeters. Has done quite a bit of work. And an Epicure making a Blood token. Red Black Sacrifice, certainly a deck we can expect to do well in the upcoming standard. With a couple new additions like Strangle of Nixilis, there's a Red One Drop you actively want to sacrifice as well. And we might actually be able to use Magda's ability to get Old Gnawbone in play. So let's say I play a Goldspan, uses one treasure, and then, yeah, by tapping Magda, we will make another treasure. Chariot could also copy a treasure if we want. And then Magda can sack five treasures to get old Nobone, which can turn into even more treasure. So maybe it's okay to just go face ignore of Nixilis. Use Magda. And then now with Old Gnawbone, we would love a Ginny Fay to turn all these treasures into creatures as well, but still looking pretty good. So we get eight treasures. And then I'll probably keep Goldspan in hand just in case of a sweeper. Probably okay to play one Fable. Keep the other in hand to maybe discard. Chariot copying the Goblin Shaman can also be pretty nice. 
but happy to keep Magda around. So yeah, not trading Magda by attacking into the Devil token I think was pretty important. And we'll see how our opponent responds. Goes digging with a blood token. Nixilus drains me. I think we're still safe to take two. Doing with you. Shambling Ghast joins the fun. Two cards in hand. And a professional face breaker, yeah. Could make some treasure for the opponent as well. No attacks. We get to untap. And uh, yeah, Magda could get another gold span by sacking five treasure. Let's see if we can find something more exciting with Fable. Not quite. Okay, well, I guess uh, four copies of gold span is probably good enough. So I didn't quite get to see as many of the new cards as I would have liked. But gold span remains one of the best cards in standard, so kind of building around gold span and chariots you can't really go wrong attack with all go face all right sweet on to the next one All right, we're on the draw with a promising hand if we can hit a couple land drops. Innkeeper into maybe turn three. Ognis sets up a gold span as well. Up against the Grixis. And they turn to Heart Stabber. Okay, so... Greeters versus Innkeeper is an interesting question. I think the higher upside is Innkeeper, if we draw land to set up Ognis. Versus Greeters, which is better if we don't draw land, so we get a trigger off Innkeeper. But we'll uh, go for the big play here. And then don't really intend to kill the Heartstabber anytime soon. Iteration for card draw. Finds a Blood Chief's Thirst, which can take out Innkeeper here. That's fine. No land, unfortunately, means we'll just play Greeters. Gets taken out by Hagar Mauling. Take one. And there's our land. Go to watch out for all of the storm giants at some point too. For now, Massacre takes out both creatures. And looking at the graveyard, we've got four out of five mana values required. Just play Goldspan and Smash. Also gets taken out by Mauling. Good thing we have a backup. So we can attack and play a Chariot as well. Mm. 
Fable of the Mirror Breaker we can handle with Voltage Surge. But might as well untap first. Inkeeper the draw. We'll turn on chariots. And then probably find to play an innkeeper here to gain a life once we copy a cat token. Opponent falls to three. And gotta hope there's no meat hook massacre for four incoming. Their opponents still with four out of five mana values to enable their new cards iteration to go digging, so don't need to worry about Meat Hook Massacre. And with another Voltage Surge in hand, it looks like we'll have lethal, and our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with an okay hand. Don't expect Magda to necessarily attack and make a treasure right away, but can maybe start with a Gala Greeters. Opponent on a red-black, maybe Jun Sacrifice deck. Turn to Underdog, another new addition with Blitz. And we picked up Ginny Face, so Greeters into Ginny could be a nice sequence. Take three. And Obnixilus comes down and uh, makes a copy of himself right away. So he can make a devil, Dramus for two. <laughs> One city. <laughs> Your punishment is my or it looks like they're just gonna plus both. Alright, they probably want to uh, switch the sequencing there slightly. So, yeah, play Ginny. Make a treasure, which we will turn into probably a cat at this point, given the devil token. Put a counter on the greeters, and then probably don't want to trade here. Now, currently don't have the mana to play Ognus, since we need more red. So hopefully we'll draw a mountain. Harvester can maybe take out one of our smaller creatures. Voltage Surge could come in handy, can also go after Planeswalkers. So what's my sequence here? I can potentially play Magda and then make another creature with a Ginny. Could also just keep the tapped treasure so I can play Ognis. So tricky spot. Probably fine to make another creature here. And then put another counter on the greeters. And we want to attack as a question. The cats can probably attack. If they jump with a devil, take out Magda, we've got a backup. Probably don't want to attack with Ginny. Greeters would also just trade for Harvester. So I think just the cats attacking Obnixilus. And they'll trade for a devil. Magda down. Could potentially replace a couple forests with the blank green pathway, just to give us potential black mana for Ognus that uh, still produces green. So figuring out the mana base with some of these hybrids creatures is going to be tricky. Opponent actually splashing green for a Seekus Chariot, pretty strong here. 
Another greeters, however, is not bad. So we'll make treasure, turn it into a cat, and then plus one counter, make another treasure, make another cat. Gain some more life, add another counter, and then Voltage Surge could take out Harvester, we could go after Obnixilus, although I'm missing the treasure for it. Uh, Magda, probably not that useful right now, so we'd rather use Voltage Surge, and uh, yeah, I could see the benefit of taking out Harvester, which could otherwise take out Greeters. Opponent is going to crew chariots, but don't think we were planning to attack here anyway. Ziatoros Envoy comes down, crews chariots. Chariot attacks. And yeah, can copy Obnixilus, which was a token here. So that's pretty cute. All double block chariots. So gotta keep your eye on which Obnixilus is the real Obnixilus, quote unquote, and which one is the token. <laughs> your punishment is my entertainment. Could at some point discard as well instead of taking two, but want to try and play Ognis. And now with two hasty cats, we get to make a lot of treasure. So this is kind of where we want to be with Ginny and Ognis in the deck. Sadly, the cats come into play tapped because the treasure comes into play tapped. Otherwise it would be a bit too powerful. But time to attack. Don't have to attack with Ognis himself if we don't want to put him in harm's way. But we can certainly attack with some of our other creatures. And then this Greeters has already triggered all the way. So might want to keep that one back. Although we're about to make a bunch more cats and dogs. And I guess we have a backup Ognis as well. So you know what, let's just go all out. Opponent goes digging with a blood token. This card's a land. Cat tokens trade off, but there are five cat tokens waiting to make more treasures next turn. So just gotta keep an eye on our life total here, as devil tokens take out greeters. Envoy is no demon or devil, so doesn't synergize with Obnixilus at least. Ooh, a Goldspan Dragon. So they can hit me for 9 and then still potentially trigger Envoy. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen here. Finds another Obnixilus. So we're probably gonna fall to the Flying Dragon and all the drain from Obnixilus. But at least we got to see some of our token synergies in action. Four copies of Obnixilus in play. So we'll have to discard now. And I guess they have one Obnixilus left to activate, so sadly don't get to untap. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a keepable hand. 
Sentinel into Greeters. And then some nice cards to ramp into. If we pick up any more treasure or token synergy, we're in business. Magda would also be great with turn one Sentinel. Let's see what we're up against. Also turn one Sentinel. Well, I guess we could Voltage Surge here after playing Greeters. Or I can wait and see what else the opponent plays. So Naya Callers, their own Greeters. So probably want to take that out. And then we have options. Playing another Greeters is one of them, or I can go for Fable and get those treasure tokens going. So next turn I could already maybe play Goldspan Dragon. And there's Ginny Face, our opponent's playing a similar style of deck. And what do I want to discard? Maybe one Greeters can go. Wouldn't mind finding a Ginny of our own. Okay, so could play Goldspan. Tapping my Goblin Shaman, or I guess Greeters, doesn't matter. Make another treasure and attack. And then next turn Ognis can make even more treasure, and then we're hoping to find something to synergize with all those treasure tokens. Whether it's a face breaker to turn them into extra cards, Ginny to turn them into creatures, or just more expensive cards we can play. It's going to be a showdown of the Skulls for extra card advantage here. Finds a Fleetfoot Dancer, that's a good one. A nice 4-4 Trample Lifelink Haste for 4. Okay, so let's see here. We drew Magda. So can I somehow get to enough treasure to get an old Gnawbone in play? That would be fun. Make a treasure... I can play Ognis, and I can play Magda. Yeah, that should work. Because I can use Sentinel to tap Magda, make a treasure, and then I get two more treasures from Haste Creatures attacking, plus I guess even the Shaman so tapping Magda wasn't necessary. And then I can activate Magda before damage to get old Gnawbone. And get even more treasure. Chariot would also be decent. But now with all these treasures I can activate Magda even more to get more dragons and chariots if I want. Which is probably better. So yeah, our one-off old Nobone putting in a ton of work. And our opponent explodes, yeah, just dead on board to our flying dragons. And who knows what else we could search up. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. What do we think of this one? Yeah, with a third land, it's not too bad. Got a bit of interaction. And then Fable into maybe Facebreaker to start out. It's a lot of copies of Voltage Surge. Would have preferred a third land. Epicure, so another sacrifice deck. Okay, we get to play. And uh, yeah, I think Fable makes more sense here than Facebreaker. Get that momentum going, maybe discard Voltage Surge to find more lands. 
Let's see if they have a turn 3 of Nixilis. At least I can take out the Devil token and then the Shaman can keep up the pressure. So it's not too bad. Seen a lot of Obnixilis in action today. For a good reason. Ognis could be fun too. Think I'm okay getting rid of both copies of Voltage Surge. Or am I? So I can attack with the Shaman, use the Treasure Token to kill the Devil. Even go face, play Face Breaker to get an extra treasure. Yeah, I guess if I just find a land I can play Ognis and then still play Voltage Surge if I want. I have a lot of options. But this seems fine. I did not find a land, unfortunately. So in that case... I can just take out both copies of Obnixilis. Or I can... go for Face Breaker. Tough call. I think probably gonna play Face Breaker just to be mine efficient and then still take out the Devil token. So this goes after the two loyalty of Nixilis. And then can Voltage Surge here. Phase Breaker only makes treasure when we hit the opponent directly, not their Planeswalker, sadly. Otherwise we could have generated an extra treasure. Yeah, not worth the effort. Also an argument for keeping the treasure to play Ognis or maybe even Goldspan next turn. My coin we'll see how this plays out. Soul Ripper and an Anvil. Although they won't be able to crew Soul Ripper just yet. Okay, so I can play Ognis now if I'd like. And that does seem reasonable. The menacing phase breaker goes after Obnixilis, the rest goes after the opponents. Get to make quite a bit of treasure. Still have a Voltage Surge available. And then now, Phase Breaker also generates card advantage with all these treasures. Still holding double gold span in the event of a Sweeper, maybe. It's gonna be a Skyclave Shade. Can crew the Soul Ripper. Probably reasonable to kill the Soul Ripper here. It's going to attack. We'll see if they sacrifice anything. Yeah, or I can just take it. This seems reasonable. And our opponent has seen enough, yeah. They're gonna lose a Soul Ripper, which was their only real threat. And next turn we still get to play Goldspan. Followed by maybe even a second gold span in our second main phase, thanks to all the extra treasures we'll be generating. Alright, so yeah, we get to see our red-green treasure deck in action. And of course, some wins are just based off the power of some of our older cards, like Asika's Chariots and Goldspan Dragon. But at least we get to see a little bit of uh, the new cards in action. Gala Greeter certainly delivered, especially alongside Ginny Fey. And then, uh, of course, a Phase Breaker also did a lot of work. Ognus seemed pretty decent. So overall, quite a few new additions to play around with in the red-green treasure build. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.